So uh, first of all, we are extremely sorry for uh, what happened on credit card since uh, many of you are having network issues and even uh, the uh, due to bad weather, the electricity is also just shifted it. Uh, so we are extremely sorry for the delay in the finals. I hope uh, everybody cooperates with us. And uh, so for this quiz, uh, I would like to thank uh, the Department of Chemistry, Dorong College. So uh, we have uh, sponsored the event, and uh, obviously, uh, so Dr. Palas Pani Sekhar, sir, who is our uh, respected uh, quiz master. So uh, he, he has been a veteran quizzer for uh, nearly about 15 to uh, 20 years now, and he has been hosting quiz uh, in and around Assam for nearly uh, six to eight years. So uh, he is an he is uh, the best in his uh, circuit. And so. Uh, Okay, now I'll just hand over the uh, proceedings to Dr. Uh, Palakmani Sir, uh, you can go ahead. Okay, a good uh, warm evening to all the uh, finalists uh, on uh, from the Department of Chemistry, Durham College. Actually, um, we came up with the idea of the quiz uh, on the uh, for celebrating the Mold Day 2020 in a bigger way, and here we are with the. Alchemy, the chem quiz. So before I uh, go to the quiz, I would uh, like to introduce to you uh, some of the faculty members who have joined here. Uh, we have Dharmendra Sama, Amanda Kumar Sama. He is one of our ex head and is the senior most faculty of the department. We have Dr. Dipul Paul. He is also here, and and I have seen. Uh, I think. Uh, our head, uh, Sanjeev Satri, has not joined yet. So, uh, so on behalf of the Department of uh, Chemistry, Dorongolis, I would like to request Dr. Ramendra Kumar Sarma, sir, to formally inaugurate to this quiz, mm -hmm. uh, which has been organized on the occasion of Moldy, which was supposed to be held on 23rd mm -hmm. for the technical problem we rescheduled it today. So, Ramendra Sarma, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, very good evening to all the participants and faculties and audience. Are you getting me? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, at the very beginning, I offer my heartiest congratulations to all finalist groups and also best of luck for these competitions, these competitions. I also offer my heartiest congratulations and best of luck to Professor Polak Manishoitya, who organized this LKB game quiz today. It is, I am very happy and also I thank to all faculty members of the chemistry department and other faculties of the Dorong College and especially the students, those who present here with us uh, with these few lines. I declare the competition is open. And have a good day. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. So, thank you, sir. Uh, so, uh, oh, the event has been already inaugurated by Ramana Masa. So, I, I'd like to briefly say about the Department of Chemistry, Dorong College. So, Dorong College is a very old institution in the northern bank of Assam, situated on the bank of Brahmaputra. And uh, it was established in uh, way back in 1945. And uh, the Department of Chemistry, Dorong College is also a very old department of the institution, serving the, uh, the students of the entire Northeast. Uh, it is only a, a, a graduate, it under, uh, runs an uh, undergraduate program, but presently we are uh, shortly opening the postgraduate courses also. So I, uh, on behalf of the department, once again, uh, welcome all the finalists. For this quiz, and I would, uh, before beginning with the quiz, I will also request uh, the Pulpal sir to say a few words about this quiz. Thank you, Palashmani sir. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the faculty uh, members in the Department of Chemistry, Palashmani Shaikya, and all the uh, participants for joining this uh, quiz competition. and. I particularly Palasmani Shaikya sir for organizing such a good event in this 
uh, SOPS uh, operation. Then, <coughs> so we have uh, Kostam Mahanto, so Sankar Sharma and Obhijit uh, will be uh, uh, helping us in this quiz competition and they are all members of TechQuas. So this com com quiz competition has been jointly organized by Department of Chemistry, Dorong College and TechQuas. So uh, you have to send the uh, uh, pound answers and other details uh, uh, to the WhatsApp number that is assigned. I think so Sankar's number, WhatsApp meeting. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Can move forward. So these are our uh, the, our TechQuas faculty. So all the best to all the six finalists. So here we go with the final of the Alchemy the Chem Quiz competition. It's organized by the Department of Chemistry, Dorong College and Equas. So all the participants ready? Let's move with a very fast round. That's a clockwise round. There'll be six questions for the six teams. Okay. And the uh, quiz will be in infinite pounds and bounds format. Plus 10 and plus 10 minus 5 for pounds. And you have to send the pounds answers to the WhatsApp contact. It's clear to all the teams. And regarding the uh, time of the pounds, it will be very short. As, as, so here we go with a very fast question to team one, okay? So this is all about an American environmental activist and a legal consultant, who sued a renowned energy company, or energy holding company, for contamination of drinking water in a city near California. And that successful lawsuit was a subject of a award-winning 2000 biopic on the same environmental activist. So the chemical substance that was responsible for the contamination of the groundwater was used by the company for in their cooling tower to fight corrosion. Now the question is, first thing you have to name the activist. Second, you have to name the chemical substance that was responsible for the contamination of groundwater. Regarding pounds, one thing we require, in pounds, every part of the question should be answered. If one part is wrong, you will get negative marking. In case of pounds, if it is a part question, and, and all parts should be answered. So in this question, the first question, we have two parts. You have to name the environmental activist, the first question. Second question, you have to name the chemical substance, okay, that is responsible for the contamination of the groundwater. We are, we are closing the pounds. We are closing the pounds. Yes, any team uh, pounds or team? Uh, I have received from team two, four, and five. Two, team. four, and five. Two, four, and five. Okay. okay. Yeah. There is a direct question to team one. one. Team one, you can go for the answer. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'll say the name of the activist is Erin Brokovich and uh, the chemical is chromium-6. Mm, absolutely correct answer, team one. It is indeed. So let's see the answer. It is indeed Erin Brokovich. And uh, uh, the chemical substance is chromium-6. I can accept chromium-6 or chromium-6. Okay, or hexavalent chromium. So very good answer from uh, team one. Let's see so what the answer is. Uh, scores of team two, four, and five. Yeah. Uh, two didn't answer. He said pounds, but didn't answer. Okay, uh, minus five. Yeah, minus minus five. five. Then team five four. or half correct means team five minus five for team five too. Um, yeah, yeah. Team four uh, team four gets a plus ten. Team four gets a plus ten, no? Team four plus ten. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so here we go with the next question to team uh, two. Okay. So team two, this is your direct question. So this is about an uh, straw called ephytra from which ex uh, extract. The traditional Chinese medicines have been used in natural years. So a Japanese chemist identify ephytrin with active um, component of ephedra. And another Japanese chemist reduced ephedrine using phosphorus and iodine and produced a chemical substance X. X was widely used by the, uh, to the, by the it was introduced to the Nazi troops fighting in the front and also it was introduced uh, to the Kamikaze Japanese pilots. Okay. 
fighting in, during the World War. So question is simple, you have to identify X for uh, the chemical substance X. It's a direct question to two and open for pounds. Team one pounds. Okay. We're closing the pounds. We're closing the pounds. Team two, it is direct question. Okay. Team two. So I'm guessing it is amphetamine, also known as the wonder drug or something. Absolutely correct answer, team two. It is indeed amphetamine, mid crystal. So plus 10 to team two. Oh, team one gets plus 10. Plus 10 to team one. Team one. Team two gets it plus 10. Team, yes. So let's move to the uh, third question to team three. So <clears throat> this is about, uh, uh, it is a long question. So what you have to identify is uh, about uh, the substance X. So X has at the core a two-piece rubber compound seal comprising of natural rubber, carbon black, clay, zinc oxide, and other chemicals. This compound is heated and extruded to form a rod cut into pellets. And then these pellets are formed into hemispheres cured at 150 degree centigrade and <clears throat> then they are buffed and uh, they, one of is buffed with a grinding wheel to provide a key for the addition mm -hmm. to the hub. And in between, they, uh, a sodium nitride and ammonium chloride is inserted. Okay. Now the question is, you have to identify X. What is being spoken about here? X. Open for pounds. What is X? I'm closing the pounds. So, Sanko, any pounds? No. No pounds. Okay. Okay. So, okay. it is uh, direct question to team three. Team three, you answer, please. You have identified team three. Uh, sir, pass. Pass. Team four. The car safety bag. The, the, the bag that comes out when they heat in the accident. But a good guess that is uh, we use sodium and uh, we do not use sodium nitride here we use sodium azide in car safety bag so very good guess anyway team uh, next team five our guess was also similar something to do with like airbags of the car like no other uh, it is very similar to airbag but uh, as i told you we use sodium azide in airbag but here we're using sodium nitride and ammonium chloride Okay, team. Uh, so, okay, team okay. Five, yes, team Hello? Five. Yes, team five. Okay, can I say anything? Like, yes, can yes, I extend yes. to my question and answer? Yes. So, yes, I'm just yes. guessing this is fire extinguisher, probably. No, good guess. Right here, it's a good guess. Not the fire extinguisher. Team uh, five, uh, six, no? Team six. Yes, sir. Team six, are you there? No, yes, sir. Uh, you answer, please. So we'll bounce, bounce, so pass. Pass. Yeah, uh, so we'll going to uh, team one. Yeah, so, so I will just guess that these are basically since there is sulfur, so I'll say these are vulcanized rubber balls basically. The tennis balls or the vulcanized rubber balls. Vulcanized rubber balls. Team or tennis, uh, tennis balls or vulcanized rubber balls, something like that. No. Uh, very specific, you want to say? I want a specific answer. I mean, uh, uh, tennis balls. I mean, uh, you want to ball. You want yeah, to tennis ball. Okay, let me yeah. let me see. Uh, team two answers. Team two. yeah 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 yeah. Uh, are these anti-static tires? Uh, no, I'm afraid it is not. They are not anti-static tires. Uh, uh, can I take a guess if every team is done? Yes, all the teams uh, uh, have. So is is this Wimbledon Wim ball used in Wimbledon? Like uh, oh, no, I, I guess, yes, uh, Rajul, uh, of course they are the tennis balls. I, I should give ten marks to the team who say tennis ball. So we one. have two type of tennis ball actually. One one where some pressure is used, they are called pressurized tennis ball, and the other are simple uh, uh, vulcanized tennis ball. So this is the proper word is pressurized tennis ball. So they are generally used in Wimbledon and other. Uh, uh, other um, international competitions. So the correct answer is pressurized tennis ball. And uh, we have one uh, answers from one of the team. Team, uh, team one. Team, team one. one. Team one. 
Team one is giving. Uh, I I should give them ten marks. To team one. So uh, this is the pressurized tennis ball, and uh, we have uh, team one scoring uh, in this round in this question. So let's move to the next question to team two. I think team two. Yes. So team two, this is your direct question. This is the logo of American Chemical Society, and this was designed by Tiffany Jewelers, a jewelry. Okay. And if you, see, you can see, there is a instrument on the uh, back side of the logo, the lower half. Above we have the phonics, and the lower half we have a the picture of a instrument. So now my question is, what is the name of this instrument, this apparatus? Who designed it? The second part. And why it is so called? The name of the instrument. Why it is so called? So there are three part in this question. What is the name of this instrument that is used in the logo of American Chemical Society? Okay, who designed this instrument? He designed it for a specific purpose, and because of certain constituents in it, its name arises actually. So that is the third part of the question. So why it is called so? So there are three part. Uh, yeah, it's team open for pounds. Yes, it is a direct yeah. question to team two, and open for pounds. All pounds we need all the parts. Three parts are required: name of the apparatus, the designer of the apparatus, and why the apparatus is so called. Okay, we're closing the pounds. Anybody on the on writing the pounds can be accepted. Team one and team four. Team four. Team one and team four. Yeah. So we'll accept your answer. You can go forward. Team one and team four. So Sankar, you received the answers. Yeah, team four is still typing. I received from team one. Okay. This is just an. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. So it is a direct question to team two. Yes, two. You can go forward with your answer. Okay, so my English. guess would be, my guess would be, it's a Calia plate. Okay. And designed by uh, Justice uh, Von Lake. Yes. And it is called because the apparatus contains the caustic uh, solution, which is also called Calia in German. Calia in German. Ka so Calia. It is the, the caustic potash that is also called Kali to absorb the carbon dioxide. Okay. Okay. So I accept. Right. I accept your answer. I accept your answer. So all the three parts are actually correctly answered. So actually, they use potassium hydroxide, and potassium is calcium. Okay, so that is used in absorbent. Very good answer by team two. It is calcium prat. Okay, and it was designed by Libby, and for absorbing carbon dioxide, it's a very uh, interesting instrument with five bulbs, and so it was chosen as a logo of American Chemical Society. Very good answer by team two. Let's see. Uh, uh, so plus ten to team two, and we have two pounces. Team one, uh, team one gets plus ten, and team four also gets plus ten. Team one, team four, and team two. Okay. So it was a direct question to team two. So let's move to team three with the next question. Yes. So team three, your direct question. So in 1990s, two Indian chemists they synthesized this compound, and at the time, uh, the 400 uh, anniversary of an Indian city celebration of an Indian city was going on. So they named this compound in honor of this Indians, the in uh, the ancient name of this Indian city. So the the three parts I want: what was the name of the compound as they have named it, from which a In honor of which, or uh, Indian city, they named it. The second, that is why the name of the Indian city. And say, what is the old name of Indian city? After whom actually the name, the molecule has been named. X, the name of the molecule or the compound, and Y is the name of the Indian city, and Z, the ancient name of the Indian city. Open for pounds. So this X, Y, Z. Yes, X, Y, Z. We are closing the pounds. Yes, anybody writing the pounds can be accepted. Mm, no sir, no pounds. No pounds. Team three, it was your direct question. Yes, team three, you can go forward. 
So on the slide, you can see the molecule, the, the, the three-dimensional image of the structure of the molecule. And below is the image of the of a fort of an Indian city. Yes, team three. It was a uh, direct question to team three, I think. Team three, now it is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You can see the molecule and the, the fort of an Indian city. So you have to name, what is the name of this molecule that has been named after uh, this ancient city of India? So what is the present name and the ancient name of the city? X, name of the compound. Y, the present name of the Indian city. And Z, the old name of the Indian city. <laughs> Team three, your direct question. Sure, pass. Pass. Team four. Sir, am I audible to you? Yes, yes, audible. Uh, the city is in Golconda. Golconda. Ancient name was Golconda. Huh. Golconda. Sir, sir, not, sir, not, 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 not. The uh, uh, name of the molecule is Golconda, and the ancient name of the city is uh, Mankal. And why? What is the present name of the city? It's Hyderabad. Hyderabad, and. Uh, it was team four answers, no? Yes, sir. Team, yes, sir. team five. Uh, team five. Hello, am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, Hello, yes. Am I audible. Audible. Yes. audible now. I, I said the present day city would be Hyderabad and the uh, ancient yes. name probably it would be Golconda and the molecule being Golconda. So I accept Rajivul answers. Uh, plus 10 for Rajivul and the group that is earlier group, that is team four. Uh, I think your team five, team four, yes, I want to give only five marks. Though they have uh, partly said two parts correct. So I want to give them five marks. The cold content is correct. And uh, Hyderabad is correct. But actually they have uh, their two answers and they have finally changed yes, the answer. Yes. So I'm still giving them five marks and 10 marks to Rajivul. Okay. Okay, Rajivul. Yes. No bounces there. Uh, I, I have to rejoin. Uh, last question of the clockwise round. Yes, I request all the participants to kindly turn on your video. So that's the answer of the earlier question. It is Golconda after Golconda Fort, city of Golconda and Hyderabad. Next question and the last question is round to team five, I think, no? Team six. And it is the last question of the clockwise round. So team six, there is a direct question to you. Barium zinc glide is a ternary compound. And this is the structure of the compound. And it can be uh, synthesized by adding gallium zinc, uh, gallium to barium zinc at a very high temperature and then cooling it to a lower temperature, 800 to 400. The, the question is the concept of the compound came from a cat's phrase of a late character of a TV series. And uh, so the chemist started designing this based on the cat's phrase. So the question is, what is the TV series, name of the TV series? And the catchphrase of the lead character, one of the characters of the TV series, from which the concept of this barium zinc galite compound came. So two part of the equation. Identify the TV series, name the TV series, and also the catchphrase of the character. Open for pounds. Team one pouncing. Okay. We're closing the pounds. We're closing the pounds. And... Uh, so Team one, two, and four pounds. One, two, and four pounds. Okay. There are two parts. Name the yeah, TV yeah, series I, and the cat's phrase. Yeah, I, have received, I, have, I have received the answers. Yes, team six. You can go ahead with the answer. Name the TV series and the cat's phrase. Of the character of the of that series, one of the character. Team six. Sure, no idea. Breaking the team. No. It's not breaking bit. Uh, team one. They team one. Team. team two. Uh, team two comes. Team three. Team three. Yes. Sir, no idea. Team four. Is it team five direct. Yeah. Team four comes. Okay. Team five. Uh, I would guess this would be barium zinc galite. So bazinga from there. And obviously, uh, yes. it would be Big Bang Theory, BBT. Absolutely correct answer, <laughs> Team 5. Yeah, I have figured out that is... how to work out later on after the pounds was closed. Yes, yes. 
barium, zinc, and gallite. I get this yeah. gallium. The B A Z N Z A bazinga. Very good guess. So it is uh, Dr. Selden Cooper's famous catchphrase bazinga. So from there, one of the uh, chemists to figure out that we can prepare a compound taking these three elements, metals. And so this crystal was finally synthesized, though it has no practical application. So, uh, in five is plus 10. Five. One, two, and four get plus 10. So, we're moving to the next round. It is an anti clockwise round. It will move from team six, and the equation pattern is same. Scoring pattern is also same. So, it is direct question to team six. Six questions. Okay. Team six, your direct question. So this is uh, the Davis Biro reaction. So forget about the chemistry behind it. Just tell me why this reaction is so important. So far as the name of the reaction is concerned, Team Six direct question open for pounds. Okay, uh, what is the question? What is the question? What? Why this chemical reaction is important in chemistry? Okay. So far as the name of the reaction is concerned, not behind the the synthesis of the compound. Why it is important in chemistry? What is so special in chemistry? I am closing the pounds. I am closing the pounds. Quite an easy equation, I think. It is an easy one. Uh, let's see how many pounds we have. Uh, team, four pounds. Only one one pounds. I expect a lot of pounds in this reaction. Okay. Team, four is pounds. Here, receive the answer. I am just typing. I have received. Thank okay. So it is direct question to team six. You answer, please, team six. So the name, of name contains the name of a location in Beirut. So, so you only can specific. Uh, there are many uh, there are many, there are many reactions based on uh, places. But why this particular reaction is so important? Maybe this was the reaction which led to the explosion in Beirut. Oh, very good guess. Let's see uh, team 5. Answer. Sir, it is the only reaction named after the capital city. Beirut is the capital of Lebanon. So. And Davis is not the capital city, but there is another word, no? Davis. So I want more specific uh, answer. Let's so, uh, hello, hello, am I audible? Yes. So probably this is uh, these are the places where like uh, Davis and Beirut is the capital and Davis being the very specific place something like that. Uh, now why is after, so uh, like uh, arrest other chemical uh, chemical reaction are named after probably the scientists which they found but uh, this is something f named after place uh, like uh, this is the place where this particular reaction was formed probably like that but. A reaction named after place, uh, uh, Beirut being the capital city and division. Yes, yes, uh, I accept your answer. I accept your answer. This is the first chemical reaction, and so far the only chemical reaction in chemistry, so, which has been named after places. These are the two cities, Davis and Beirut. They are actually here to universe. Let's see the answer. So actually, uh, the, it's a correct answer. Very good. Uh, so the only thing uh, this is the only organic reaction. There, there is one inorganic uh, complex reaction that is named after a city, but this is the only organic reaction so far that has been named after two cities. And I have not seen any other reaction so named after two cities. So it is after actually two universities which are located in Davis and Beirut. One is the University of California and the other is the American University of Beirut. And uh, okay, so that is the uh, answer from, uh, we accept the answer from team five and uh, there was a pounce by team four, I think. Yeah. Team 4 gets plus 10. Plus 10 to team 4 and uh, plus 10 to team 5. So the next question will go to team 6, I think, no? Uh, no, uh, reverse. So oh, reverse. Team 4. Team 4. Yes, it will go to team 4. Okay, team 4, uh, it's a, uh, these are all about nanoputians. Okay, so James Store, the famous chemist, created various nanoputians and uh, we have two benzene rings, some alkyne chain and hydrocarbon chains. And they have been named depending upon the head, if you see. So the first A, B and C, A and B, I have named it. One first one is called the nano kit. The second one is the nano monarch. You can see the head, the 
the the we have the crown on the molecule and what i want to know is the name of the nanoprotein c d and e look at the cap and guess the answer open for pounds team one bouncing we are closing the pounds we are closing the pounds c d e uh, how many pounds is we say team team one and team two pounds team Next one and two okay you have received answers asanka uh, they are typing okay so the while writing the answer c d e the first one will take it as c the second answer will take it as d and the third will take it as e pounds still open or pounds close no oh, pounds close pounds close okay okay Okay, sir. I have received the answer. Okay, so that was direct question to team four. Yes, uh, sir. Team it is nano athlete. Nano pilgrim. Uh, nano athlete. Nano athlete. Yes. Pass yes. it. Yes. What C? Yes. C Hello? is uh, C. Uh, sir, I am not sure about the order, but uh, one of them is nano athlete. One of them is nano pilgrim, and one of them is nano green beret. No, we don't have any uh, nano pilgrim and green beret in this slide. Okay. So, uh, let's see team four. Uh, so let's see team three. Yeah, one is nano scholar. I think. Which one? Uh, nano scholar is the D one. I think. Okay. And C. Uh, I'm not sure about the C one. Uh, I like to answer the E one. So E is nano athlete. Nano athlete. But you are not sure about C. D. You have said nano scholar, and E as nano athlete. So let's see name uh, uh, team six. Uh, so C is nano chef. Nano chef. And D. D is nano scholar, and E is uh, nano joker. Maybe. Nano Just joker. Guess. Okay. Uh, let's see team six. I think uh, all the teams have yeah. answered. I think. Team five, team five remaining. Team five is here. Team five remaining. Team five remaining. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, yes, audible. Okay, C is nano baker. Okay. As D already said, it's a nano scholar, and T uh, E is a nano athlete. Very good answer. Very good answer. Team five. It is indeed the baker, scholar, and athlete. If you look at the cap, you have the answer: baker, scholar, and athlete. Let's see the answer. Yes, nano baker, not safe. We say it is nano baker. One of the teams have said, and uh, this is a nano scholar, and uh, last one is a nano athlete. So one of the team uh, very close. They say uh, one of them is nano scholar and athlete. So I want to give uh, five marks to that team who say nano scholar and nano athlete. I think it is team uh, D and E. They have one group has said D and E. They have not. They are not sure about C. Sir, team three said. Team three said. Team three said D and E. So I am giving only five marks because I cannot split it into three three marks. Okay. So I am giving five marks to them. And team five is full ten. Let's see the pounds answer. Yes. Uh, team one gets plus ten, and team two will get minus five. He was nano shave. Okay. Mine. That is not accepted. It has to be baker. Okay. So uh, let's move to the next question. I think it will go to team four. team four. Next question to team four. So these are the four stages of the original process. The first one is called nigredo, that is blackening. Next one is albedo, whitening. Then is crinitas, sorry, citrinas, that is yellowing. Then robedo, reddening. And these four stages can be achieved by twelve process, like calcination, congelation, fixation. So these are some chemical steps involved. So now my question is specific: What is this illustration all about? Four process, and within the four process, there are twelve uh, steps. Four uh, original so phase and twelve steps. Open for pounds. Uh, so you need what? These four are. Together, called no, or together, all these things are speaking about something. It is an illustration of a 
illustration of something. So what is this illustrating? Definitely the four stages and the uh, 12 steps are related. They are same thing. The four Sir, stages are divided into 12 steps. Sir, who's direct? I'm, yes. Sir, uh, direct to uh, which team? Team four and we're closing the pounds. Pounds okay, closed. Sir, sir. sir, pounds. Pounds closed. Uh, anybody? One, two and five pounds. One, two and five pounds. Six, six, six. One did not pounds. Six also. Hello? One did not pounce. Sorry. Two, uh, two and five, sir. Not one did not pounce. Okay. Sir, six also said. Sir, six. The audio was off. Okay. okay, okay. I appreciate it. Sorry. I'm team six as well, sir. Team six. Can you be a little more specific? Uh, it is a direct question to team? Team four. And pounds is close. So team six uh, team six pounds within the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You received the pounds answer, Sasanka? Yeah, I have received. Okay. So it was direct question to team uh, four. Four, team four. Yes, team four, you can go ahead with the answer. Sir Magnum Opas of Alchemy. Absolutely correct answer, team four. It is the magna opus of alchemy, and basically, uh, let's see the answer. It is the correct answer, team four. So it is basically the, the walking process of the main material, the prima meta of philosopher's stone. So chemistry trying to create the substance of the, the to create philosopher's stone, and that is the magna opus of alchemy. Very good answer by team four plus ten. Let's see the other answers. Other. Team 2 gets plus 10. Uh, team, uh, team 6 and Team 5 gets minus 5. So let's see with the next uh, question to Team 2. Team 2, okay. So this is a long question, but I'm just making it brief. This is a Bohr's model. And according to this model, P is equal to 1 by 137, ZC alpha. And what does it mean? that if an element exists with atomic number greater than 137, then the velocity of the electron in the first 1s orbital will be greater than the speed of light. So scientists concluded, or a section of scientists, or section of historians, scientific historians concluded that we cannot have a physical element beyond 137. So the person behind this basic idea uh, was honored by naming the physical element, the hypothetical element, and atomic number 137 with his name. So the, my question is specific. What is the proposed name of the hypothetical element 137, which has been assumed by a certain section of scientists to be the last physically, physically possible element in the periodic table? Open for pounds. Team one pounds. Okay. I'm stopping the pounds. You have to give the name of this element. Team five pounds already. One, four, Sorry. and five pounds. One, four, and five pounds. Five, five. So it was a direct question to team two, I think, no? Costa, uh, it is direct question to team two. Team three. Team three, okay. Uh, Sasango, you received the pounds answer? Yeah, I have received. Okay, team three. You can go ahead, team three. What is the name of this element, hypothetical element? And it is a proposed name, not a PAC name. Element with atomic number 137. Antriceptium? No, uh, that is the uh, IUPAC name, you can say. Let's see, uh, team, team 2, no? team 3. Uh, it should be team 2. Oh, yeah. Team 2. Team 2, your answer? I'd like to pass. Pass. Team 1, pounds. Team 6. Team 6, what is your answer? So, is it uh, Feynman? Your name of the report, Feynman. Absolutely correct answer, Team 6. I accept your answer. Let's see the answer. So, Richard Feynman, and it is Feynmanium. So, Team 6 plus 10 to you. So Feynman proposed that we cannot have a physical element beyond 137, but of course there are some other group of scientists 
who proposed that we can we do can have elements beyond 137 because Bohr's model is based on orbit, not orbital, and that is not acceptable. But Feynman insisted on uh, orbital concept and orbit concept and limited the periodic table to 137. Very good answer by team six and other scores. Uh, one, four, and five get plus 10. One, four, and, okay. One, four, and five plus 10. So team six has answer. So next it will be to team five, I think, no? Yes. Team five. So next question to team five. So uh, this is the information about the person. You have to identify the person. Graduated from Somerville College, Oxford, 1947. So the next uh, next information was the, uh, the dissertation, the fourth year graduation dissertation was on the antibiotic gramicidin S and it was guided by Smith and none other than Dorothy Crawford Hodkins, the famous crystallographer. But uh, more important for credited for the discovery of or development of emulsifier for ice cream and credited for the invention of the first Mr. Whippy ice cream, FRS in 1983. So all this information speaks about a person, illustrate the career of a person. Open for pounds. Team one bouncing. Uh, who's is direct? Is, is it our direct? Team five direct? It is five direct. Team for, okay, okay. Team for pounds. Five direct and pounds is closed. Okay, pounds is closed. Uh, team uh, one and team four pounds. Team one and team four pounds. And uh, you have received the answer? Yeah, I have received the answer. Okay. And it is direct to team five. Yes, team five. Go ahead. So, a uh, person would be Ma Margaret Thatcher. Absolutely correct, team five. She is indeed Margaret Thatcher. So, who worked under the Dorothy Hopkins, uh, Crawford Hopkins, and on the Gramicity Nest, an antibiotic brought from Russia. But she's well known for invention of Mr. VP ice cream. So very good answer from team six, uh, team five. Plus 10 to team five and other teams. Uh, one and four get plus 10. One and four plus 10. So next direct question to team four. The last question of the anti-clockwise round to team four. Yes, team four, this is the last question of the anti-clockwise round. So before uh, uh, Newman and before uh, Mendeleev, so my friend's geologist, uh, his name was Ken Cortes, he arranged element in order of atomic weight along a helix, which was stretched on the surface of a vertical cylinder at an angle of 45 degree. The base of the cylinder was divided into 16 parts based on the atomic mass of oxygen and the length of the spiral corresponding to the weight were found to be 1 16 part of a complete turn and it was taken as a unit. So, it is seen that analogous element fall approximately on the same perpendicular and tellurium was at the center of the helix. Now, the question is, this is an illustration of a model or you can say a system of explaining the very first periodicity of element. What was the name of this particular system of explaining the periodicity of element? Open for pounds. One so what, what is the second paragraph saying like say, 16 equal parts cylinder can you explain that part uh, 16 equal parts the whole cylinder was divided into 16 parts based on the atomic mass of oxygen and every part uh, taken a turn taken one complete turn is taken as a unit and on the perpendicular all the elements that, that analogous elements forms falls on the same perpendicular with tellurium at the center I'm closing the pounds. I'm closing the pounds. Okay, team one and uh, team three pounds. Team one and team three pounds. And it is direct question to team four. four. Yes, team. Answer, Pala, Professor Sanko? Yes, sir, I have received. Okay. Team four, you can go for Sir, it is telluric helix, uh, which is originally called Bees telluric. Very good answer, team four. Very good answer. Let's see the answer. So this was actually one illustration. I forgot to give you the answer. Okay. It is called Vis Telluric or the Telluric Screw. They are the very first uh, instance of periodicity in elements. Very good answer by team uh, four, I think, no? Yes. Team four plus 10 to team four. Uh, and bounce. One and three get plus 10. One and three plus 10. So next uh, team, uh, that is the end of the second round.
uh, and we should go for the third round. Uh, we, we, can we have a brief uh, scores after the end of the two rounds? Team one ninety. Team one ninety. Yes. Team two thirty. One five. Yes, sir. Okay. Team four is eighty-five. Team four on eighty-five. Team five is on fifty. Five zero. And uh, team six is on five. Five. Okay. So uh, we have very close contest between team one and four. Very close. Okay, let's. So we are moving to the next round. So next round will be a written round. And uh, next slide, there will be eight questions, plus ten for every correct answer. And if it is a full house, you get an extra plus twenty. And you have to send the answers to the WhatsApp contact. And remember, um, uh, if uh, there is no negative marking, there is no negative marking in here. Okay. So let's getting the point. So when we saw the slide one, your answer should be on slide one. So suppose we are moving to slide two, and you write the answer of slide one, and that that answer will not be accepted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. okay. We have to answer one by one, or we have to send all the answers together. One by one. One by one. After the first slide is shown, you have to write the answer and send it to the WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. We'll give you a few minutes, a few seconds, and then we'll move to the. Next slide. Fifteen seconds will be there. Also, write the question numbers accordingly. Yes. Uh, question. Write the question number in answers. One answer. Two answer. Like that. that will be better. Okay. So let's move with the first slide. Yes. This is a mineral, uh, and it is a nitrate mineral, and it is named after a beer company. Why it has been named? Because the foundation of the company they help in the recovery and study of the akbalik fragment of cape york meteorite and in this uh, fragment this mineral particular mineral was discovered for the first time so if the name the mineral this has been named after a beer company okay and uh, that's enough uh, we are moving to the Next slide. Uh, sir, team, I'm typing. Just a minute. I'm typing. Uh, team one, one typing. Slide. Yeah. Team. Okay. Uh, let's move to. Uh, team one will accept your answer. Team two. Yeah. Uh, next slide. So the deal is, is you have to identify molecule, and what is this molecule all about? To survive dry soil environment, there is an actinobacteria of the type Streptomyces, which produce a spore, drought resistant spore, and the coat of this spore contain a hex. When the raindrop comes and hits the ground, these meniscus of the spores, ultralight spores, they spread into the air and we get a fragrance. Humans are very sensitive to this hex and can detect it as level um, uh, it at a level as low as five parts per trillion. One thing i want to say that this this is all about it is not about petrichor definitely the it is the smell of the soil when rain hits dry soil we get a smell that is called petrichor but definitely x is a component of petrichor <coughs> the smell of the petrichor is because of x yes let's move to the third slide Okay, a here what you have to do is a, you have to identify a protein. Uh, better to say it is a pheromone, pheromone protein, and <clears throat> you have to. It has been named after a character of a very uh, uh, a famous novel. You have to name two things. You have to find name the protein and also the character three parts in that novel and the novel. So what is this uh, pheromone or protein? It has been discovered that this pheromone. Is secreted yeah, by the urine. Team one writing. Team one is writing, huh? Okay. It is secreted by the urine of males, uh, male mice, and the females are attracted by the odor. Okay, we can accept it. The females are attracted to the males 
by the smell of this pheromone it is a protein and this protein has been named after a romantic hero of a of a famous novel because of his character in the novel so you have to give me three parts what is the name of this protein or the pheromone first part second what is the name of the character <coughs> in a novel and the name of the novel of course the no name of the novel and the character on the novel after whom this protein has been named three parts okay let's move to the next slide so this is a alchemical note so different alchemists they prepare their notes on different substance and this is an alchemical note on philosopher stone and simple you have to identify the alchemist who is the alchemist <coughs> Next slide. Sir, can you go just a little bit slow, sir? Writing and sending the photos. I mean, there are some network issue. The photo is buff. I mean, lo loading. Okay. Not, I mean, okay. okay. If you're writing, just yeah, if you're writing, just if you say we're writing, we'll 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 accept your answer. Okay. Yes, okay. I I'm writing. Oh, you're writing. Uh, uh, over. Yeah. We'll Team accept only, only his answer. No, team one we sent already, sir. Okay. Even team writing. five sent. Even five also sent. Team two writing. Okay. Next slide. So this is uh, you have to name uh, this particular map and the creator of the map. And what is this map? It is a projection of the world map on an icosahedron, which can be unfolded and flattened into two dimension. And it depicts the entire planet without visible distortion of relative shape and size of the continent. And it can be again reconfigured to, to put different regions. Okay, and it was intended to help humanity better address the world's problem and to prompt people to think comprehensively about <clears throat> the planet. So it was created in 43, 1943, patented in 1944. Two parts. What is this particular map called and who was the creator? Name of the map and the creator. Next slide. So this is about the die <coughs> on the slide A that is uh, on the picture A that is the, the structure of the die and it has been used to detect heparin level in blood and it has been named after B. You can see this is one of a locomotive train and it was one of the fastest uh, steam engine of that time. So you have to name both A and B definitely uh, they have the same name but A is a die and B is a locomotive A and B. The die named after the fastest steam locomotive of that time. A is the die. Okay, anybody are writing? We can accept it and we're moving. So, how to work out uh, if we know B and uh, not A? How to work out for A? Like you said, a almost same name. Same name. So, it is a die and simply write die after the name of B. Okay. The die's name. The dice, uh, I will not give you more hint. Yeah. I cannot give you more. There should be some chemistry here. <laughs> okay. Let's move to the next slide. So this is about, uh, you have to identify X. This is a protein, retinal protein. And that is the inter uh -huh. is interaction between the synapse of the eye and the dendrite of the brain. And it was named by the Japanese researcher by one, uh, after one of the Pokemon character, because he's famous for his lightning first move and electric current. Name of the protein, not the character. The protein name should be specific. If you simply write the name of the character, it will, it will not be accepted. The name of the protein should be specific. Of course, name the product character. Okay, next slide. The last slide of the written round. So you have to fill in the blanks. That solution is a mixture of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. It is so corrosive to organic matter that it was named after an Amazonian fish is based described in nature. The solution is used by chemists to, uh, to clean organic substances, clean glasswares. Okay. So fill in the blanks. What is the name of the solution rather? Piranha solution. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. We are stopping. Okay. These are the eight.
The first one is Carlsberg Zai, Carlsberg Foundation. It is chromium nitride, it is also called. The second is Zeosmin, the smell of rain, their main component of petrichor. Third one is Darcin. And after Darcy, if, if somebody write only Darcy, it will be accepted. The novel is Pride and Prejudice. <coughs> Number four is definitely Sir Isaac Newton, who was trying to create the Philosopher's Stone. Number five is definitely Buckminster Fuller. Number six, it is Mallard Blue, and this is the train, Mallard, the Mallard, or the, you can see if you write simply Mallard, that will also be accepted. And uh, seven, I think most of you know the answer, it is Picasso in after Picasso. And the eighth one is Piranha Solution. So the solution, it can, uh, you can, it can attack any organic compound, okay, like hydrofluoric acid. So it can, uh, 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 and it is mixture of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. It is called Piranha solution. So let's see the score. So uh, uh, we have one more round to go, and it will be uh, a question uh, round of ten questions. Okay, and that will be uh, though we have uh, there will be thirty questions in the whole quiz. So we have completed twenty questions, and ten more questions are there. So that will be a direct round and not a written on, and with the same scoring pattern, plus 10 and pounds, infinite pounds and bounds. <coughs> okay, sir, I have the scores now. Okay. Okay, sir, uh, team one gets 70 points. Okay, and it's wrong. Team one, 70. Then okay. team two gets uh, 50. Okay. Uh, team three, 30. Okay. Uh, team 4, 30. 30. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, team 5, 50. And team 6, 15, 1, 5. One five. So, uh, very good score by team 1 and uh, team 2. Team 2 and team 5. Good score. But nobody has full house. Okay. Uh, let's go for the last round. As I told you, there will be 10 questions. In this round, infinite pounds and pounds, and plus 10 uh, for the pounds, and minus 5 for wrong answers in the pounds. <coughs> okay, we'll, we'll move from team 1. All the teams ready? So here we go with the first question to team 1. So this is about a play called, uh, uh, it is a well-known play, and uh, uh, I'm not giving you the name of the play. Who discovered oxygen? Levels here. Priestley or Skelly. That is the main theme of the play. And this play was created by two renowned chemists, A and B. A is well known for the synthesis of norethisterone or what is also called norethindrone. And B is uh, a Nobel laureate. He was awarded a Nobel Prize for predicting reaction mechanism based on electron cloud symmetry or electron orbital symmetry. Okay, the three part, you have to name the play and identify A and B. If you don't say A and B, the first answer will take it as A and the second answer will take it as B. Direct question to tip one. Play, chemist A, chemist B. We're stopping the pounds. Anybody writing will be accepted? No pounds. No pounds, okay. Team one. Yeah, so we are saying uh, the name of the play is Oxygen itself. Uh, okay. A is Roald Hoffman and B is Carl Gerasi. Uh, so, uh, I'm giving you one more chance. A is about the one who synthesized nor ethysterone or nor ethindrone. Okay. Okay. And then he was awarded Nobel Prize. So A is who, who is A, who is B? Me, uh, Okay, so I'm exchanging it. Then A is Carl Gerasi and B is uh, Roald Hoffman. I'm, I'm, I gave you the sons because you have the answers, but uh, you may be puzzled with A and B. Do you know who is, who is Carl Gerasi before going giving you credit? Oh, I mean, the, the contraceptive is basically the, uh, I mean, he created. Right, he right. Created, He's he created, huh. father of contraceptive pill. Huh. If you see, huh. 
Noretinron or noretinron that is progesterone and uh, testosterone. Okay, it is noretinron. It's a steroid. And B is rose. I accept your answer. And the play is definitely oxygen. Okay, Carl Jarasi and Roland Hoffman is very good answer. So the oxygen play was by Carl Jarasi and Roland Hoffman. So I'm giving you ten marks. Okay. Next question to team two. Team two. So again, uh, moving to movies. Okay, this is a about a uh, not movies actually chemistry behind the movie. In the film, uh, Birds by Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock. There was a scene, and it was based on the scientific evidence of a neurological disorder in birds and other species, and it is induced by a neurotoxin released by certain plankton. And what what is the behavior of this because of this toxic toxic uh, neurotoxin? The birds behave chaotically. They attack cities. They attack the caps in the nearby beaches. So uh, my question is specific. You have to name the neurotoxin after whom even a scene has been uh, introduced in the film. The birds open for pounds. Yes, I'm closing closing the pounds. I'm closing the pounds. It is a direct question to team two. Any body pounds? Team four pounds. Team four pounds. You received the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, team five also pounds. Team four and five pounds. I have received the answer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Team two. Uh, you have to name the new. Is it the clap toxin frenzy? No, this is not the correct answer. Team two. Team three. Uh, is it the domoic acid? It is the domoic acid. It is indeed the domoic acid. Let's see the answer. It is the domoic acid. Team three, it is plus ten to you. Counts uh, uh, answers. So after, uh, uh, sir, uh, team four and five yes. get plus ten. Yes. So when domoic acid it is uh, affects birds and other marine animals, they behave chaotically and attack people. Okay, this is about uh, domoic acid. Let's move to the next question to team three. Team four, team four no? Team four, yes. <clears throat> so there are three parts in this question. So X became a successful businessman after developing the very first gelatin silver chloride coated photographic plate called Y. He established a company called Z Chemical Company. You have to simply name Z, okay, for marketing Y. But later on, he sold it to Eastman Company. X is, however, well known for the discovery of something else which stands for modern civilization. X, you have to name the businessman uh, so who, who became he was a scientist who became a successful businessman by discovering the first silver chloride coated photographic plate Y. So name Y and Z, the company that he founded. Open for pounds. Pounds close. And it was direct question to team uh, four, but let's see the pounds. No pounds. No pounds. Okay, yes. team four. There are three parts. You have to first identify the scientist who became a businessman, successful businessman, by discovering and marketing his product. Team four. So it is. Is it Dennis Rose? X is Y. The rest I. Uh, the rest I don't know, sir. Okay. Team five. Audible, you can type. It is not audible. No. Hello, am I audible? Ah, oh, now it is audible. Yeah. So this would be photographic paper and silver uh, chloride AG, A A A G C L basically. And probably X is someone like Demis Rose, whatever Team Four said. So nothing more on that. Okay. Uh, let's see Team Six. Sorry, X uh, Deguero Deguero type photo. X is Deguero. I don't know. I know the surname and okay. the actual Deguero type maybe. Why? But uh, marketing, right? sir. Uh, 
Oh, and that okay. AGCM solution, no, 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 no idea. idea. Okay. Uh, team one. Uh, I will say Axis Robert Leach Maddox. Uh, Z is the, oh, sorry, A, why the paper was called something like silver nitrate paper or something. Mm, and no idea about NZ. Okay, no, no idea about M2? Z. Yes, team two. Uh, pass. Pass. Team three. No idea, sir. So I think it was the first question we, in which we didn't have any answer, either in the pounds or in the order round, I think. Okay, let's see the answer. So he's Beckler, Leo Hendrik Beckler, and he was, at first he invented this Velox and started making these Velox papers. Okay, it was a success initially, but later on he sold it to his friend Kodak company. And he founded a company called, it is called Nepara Chemical Company. So before before he moved moved to big big light, okay, he discovered Velox and became a rich uh, man with this company. So uh, yeah, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes uh, X is Bakeland, Y is Velox, and Z is Nepera. Okay, next direct question to team five. So team five, we have to identify uh, a person here. So there are two information about him. First, a chemistry information. He was the first person to separate dextro and levo form of para tartaric acid. Okay, and he discovered chirality. And the second, he was a very good artist. And this is his, uh, one of his painting in the screen. And uh, he began his career. He wanted to be an artist, but began his career teaching physical chemistry. But uh, the more important thing, he became famous because of the life-saving, for his life-saving discoveries. Yes, pounds closed. Pounds closed. Very easy answer. So, pounds is closed. Can I answer? Team four and six. Team three, four and six pounds. Okay. Team three and four. Team three, four and six. Four, six. Okay. Now, uh, team... Right. It is our direct question. Yes. This is Pester, Louis Pester. Absolutely correct answer. It is Louis Pester. So, plus 10 to team 5. Plus 10 to team uh, 3, 4, and 6 as well. Team 3, 4, 6, and 5 all have plus 10. Okay. So, next uh, direct question will be to team 6. Okay. MC again, you have to identify someone, a person from two information. First, he was the person who, who's, according to his hypothesis, petroleum has non-biological origin. According to him, water uh, seeping through the cracks and features react with carbides of iron and produce hydrocarbon. That is his theory of petroleum. And uh, secondly, he was the person for the first time who uh, speculated about the existence of a natural element X, which is lighter than hydrogen and which can move with a velocity of around 2,250 km per second. These are two information about the person. You have to identify the person from these two information. Yes, I'm uh, closing the pounds. I'm closing the pounds. So, Sanko, how many pounds uh, we have? Team two pounds only. Two this guy. Pounds. Okay. Yeah, uh, is the pound still open? No, no. no it's it's not. Okay, okay. Team two. I uh, have received pounds, answer. So, he's still typing. Still typing. Okay. That's how I have received. Okay. So there's a direct question to team five. Six, six. Team six, yes. You can go for team six. So we like to pass. Pass. Team one. Yeah, so we'll say this is Dimitri Mendeleev. Absolutely correct answer. He is Mendeleev, who gave us the first non-biological origin of petrochemicals. And recently, it has been said that he has, so there is some truth in his hypothesis. It's Mendeleev. Okay. 
Uh, can we know the score now? So we have possible. Uh, here, uh, team okay, two okay. Okay. minus five. Yeah. After this question, I just give it as first. Okay. Okay. So this is the uh, sixth question. Two teams. One, I think. No, it will go to team two. Team two. So in 1908, a Japanese chemist isolated X from a edible seaweed. Okay, and attributed it for the fifth test why? Apart from sweet, toast, sour, bitter, and salty, he attributed this chemical for the fifth test why? And in 1909, he founded a company Jet to sell his product X. So the compound X, the name of the test, the test, how, what is the name of the test, why? And the company that he founded, Z. Three parts. What do you want? X, Y, Z. So a, a, X is the person. X is the person. Y is the chemical. Yeah. No, no, X is the company. Uh, sorry, chemical. X is, X X is, is the chemical. chemical. I don't want the name of the person. Y is the okay. taste oh, and Z is the company. Team one pounds. Okay. We are closing the pounds. We are closing the pounds. Okay. Team five pounds and wrote the answer to Shoshanko. Okay. Team five, we will accept your answer. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Team four, five, six and one have pounds. So four, other than three or pounds? Other than three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it was direct question to team three. Okay. Team two. So Sanko, you receive all the answers? Yeah, 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 I have received all the answers. Okay. Team team two, your answer. So I'm guessing the Japanese chemist being uh, Kikune Ikeda. No, I, I, I don't want the name of the Japanese chemist. X is the chemical. Team two, are you audible? Team two, I'm I'm not we are you're not audible to us. Okay, so X is uh, X is uh, Umami and uh, the company. I guess it's uh, Ajinomoto company. Uh, 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 let's see uh, team three. So why is Umami? Umami. Uh, uh, X would be monosodium glutamate. Uh, I don't and Z? It. Z? Uh, no. Uh, uh, I'm uh, giving, I should give five marks to team uh, two and three, no? Both five, five. Both five, five. Because they're partly they are correct, and since they are not coming from chemistry background, I expect the answer. So uh, let's see the answer. X is indeed uh, one monosodium glutamate. Okay. Y is the umami taste, and Z was ajinomoto, and and definitely it is Kikuna Ikuda Ikida was the chemist, and he joined Suzuki, uh, and with Suzuki they founded this ajinomoto company. And it is still there, and they are selling this monosodium glutamate, and we often use it in our, or in restaurants often use it in different recipes of chicken and other. So this doesn't. Yes, the scores. Sir, uh, one five six get plus ten. So then team four get minus five. Okay. Team one. Team one five six plus ten. Plus 10. plus 10. I am giving plus 5 to team 2 and team 3. Plus 5, plus 5. Okay. okay so team 1 is on 190. 190. Team 1 is on 190, yes. Uh, team 2 is on uh, 75. Oh, 80, 80. Team 2 should be 80. 80, I guess. 80, 80. Yeah, team 3 is on 70. Team 4? Team 4 is on 130. Team 5? Team 5 is on 130. 
130 and team 6 team 6 is um, 40 40 40 yeah so team 1 190 it is leading the score quiz and it is followed by team 4 and team 5 with 130 so this is the uh, the next question will go to team 4 so uh, I think it is a, uh, already on the screen. So this is all about a compound X. This was a uh, X, X not compound X, X was the first uh, organic chemist who produced the first organic antimonial Y. So X is the chemist. He produced the first antimonial Y and he was nominated for 1929 and 1942 Nobel Prize in not in chemistry, but in physiology and medicine. I want X and Y. One team one bouncing. Okay. Bounce is close. Bounce is close. Team four. Uh, yes, uh, before that, bounce. Sanga, you received the bounce answer from team. Uh, only team one bounce, right? Uh, team, team one, one. Striking. So striking. Team, one, team one, X and Y. X, the chemist or the person who produced the first antimonial and what is the name of their antimonial? The chemical name or the common name will also do. Why? Sir, resistance. Yes, direct uh, question to team four, no? Yes, sir. Team four, yes, you can go forward. It is the first antimonial, organic antimonial. Sir, and it's direct to team four. Yes, direct to team four. Yeah, it is uh, and uh, it was by Upendranath Brahmasari, I guess. Uh, very good answer. Team 4, very good answer. X is Upendranath Brahmasari, Rai Bahadur, Upendranath Brahmasari, and uh, he synthesized urea cetamine, that is also called carbostimamine, and that was used in effective drug for fight Kalajar. Okay. And its IPS name is 4 aminophenyl. No need of that. Okay, team one has pounds. What is the yeah, answer they, to team one? Yeah, they get plus 10. Plus 10. Okay, very good answer from team one and team four. So, next question will be to team five. Okay, so team five, an easy one for you. It is a, uh, the, uh, we know, all know about the psychedelic drug LSD and it was synthesized by Hoffman. It was on April 19. So he ingested few milligram and he came to know about this uh, psychedelic effect. Now the question is, as a tribute to Hoffman and to commemorate the discovery of the psychedelic effect of LSD, how is April 19 celebrated globally every year? Team one bouncing. I'm closing the pounds. I'm closing the pounds. The question is, okay, I'm accepting the another pounds team. Team two is also bouncing. Team 1 and Team 2, we are accepting Team 1, them. 2 and 4. Sir, team, one, six also. Sir, team 4 is also bound, sir. Yes, sir. Team 1, 2, team 4, four is also bound, sir. Yes, 1, 2, 4, 6, we accepted your pounds. Yeah. 1, 2, 4, 6. And it was direct question to Team 5. Yeah, yeah, I have raised the hand. Okay. Team 5, we go for it. Is, is it bicycle day? Bicycle. Like it's it cyclic is form, bicycle that's why. Day. It is indeed the bicycle day. Very good answer. So team 5. It is the bicycle day. And the famous bicycle tour of Hoffman. Actually, this is answered by Midul Sharma. Not me. Okay. okay, very good answer. His voice is not connected. Okay. Everybody gets point. One, two, four, five, six. Only three has not bounced, I think. Three yes, has, not. has not bounced. So all the other teams has got in. I said it was the easiest one of this quiz. So let's move to the next question to team uh, six, I think, no? Yes, sir. Team six. <clears throat> so uh, again, two part. X, name of a chemist and why his compound. You have to identify the chemist and the compound. So when he, uh, X, uh, identified discovered why he uh, reported his ignose because he was convinced that it is composed of glucose and fructose but a journal editor refused to accept it so 
so he changed the name to god knows the editor was not convinced so he went forward and uh, joined in collaborate he collaborated with hevor and determined the structure and gave, gave the name hexuronic acid hexuronic acid and then hexuronic acid get the present name y okay so my question is what is the who is this chemist x and what about which compound we are talking about y x and y pons close pons close identify x and compound y no pons no pons i was expecting lot of pons from here uh, it was a direct question team 6 so you have to identify the chemist x and his compound y x first referred to it as ignos then since the name to god knows and then he changed the name to hexronic acid when it was accepted by the editor of the journal but hexronic acid is a different name today yes team 6 team 6 so why is glucuronic acid and x so x so pass pass team 1 Yeah, we'll say um, oh, why is uh, ascorbic acid or vitamin C and X is Georgi? Absolutely correct answer, team one. It is indeed Georgi and vitamin C or ascorbic acid. It's very good answer, team one. It is Georgi. He so he at first named this compound as ignos and later God knows, because and then finally he named it as ascorbic acid. And later on, when vitamin C was isolated, in he he gave the name ascorbic acid. after scurvy disease because it is an answer to the scurvy disease scorbites okay uh, any pounds answer no pounds was there no so sanko no sir no sir no pounds okay last team to team 1 and the next question uh, direct to team 2 team 2 okay uh, so it is another simple one team 2 So it is believed that the name beryllium arises from the Sanskrit word "bhadrujya," which is related to the name of a modern Indian town in Karnataka. Simple question: Name the modern name of this Karnataka town from which it is believed that the name of name beryllium has been given. Open for pounds. A team one bouncing. Okay. Pounds close. Pounds close. No, I have received from one. Only one pound. So one, four, and five. One, four, and five is pound. One. So, so, so one, three, and five, not four. Sorry. Okay. Oh, four. It is direct. I think no. No, it is direct question to two. Yes, team two. It's Bellur. Bellur is the correct answer. From Bellur, we have the beryllium. So that was also an easy question. The Lord, plus ten to team two, and about one three five. One three and five uh, plus ten. One three and five plus ten. Next, move to the last question of today's quiz. The alchemy, the chem quiz. The last question of this quiz, and it will be direct to team. Team three. Team three. Team three. A simple question again. This is uh, the. Uh, when the scientist was awarded the prestigious order of elephant he designed his own coat of arms and he used the yin yang symbol here in the coat of arms and he also added the latin opposites are complementary we see emphasize a striking tradition representing the principle of the wave particle nature duality of nature that is wave particle nature of matter and so he used the so he designed his own coat of arms uh, to receive the order of elephant so it is an It is required that uh, the recipient should have his own uh, his coat of arms. So he designed his own own coat of arms. This is the coat of arms. He has to identify the scientist. Team one bouncing. Pounds close. Okay, pounds close. Team uh, team five five already pounds and give the answer. I have pressure from team one two four five. One two four five. So uh, it is again uh, one common question we often ask in chemistry quiz. I think one, two, four, five. So let's see uh, the answer from team three. 
Team three. <coughs> is it Dribogli? Not Dribogli, but uh, the web particle duality is there, but he is not Dribogli. Yes, uh, team six. Team six. So, Planck. Not Max Planck. And I think all others bounced. So, the answer is like, it is nil bore, okay? Nil bore, I think all of the pounds will have the correct answer. One, two, four, five. Sir, uh, four gets minus five. Uh, rest are correct. Uh, Only four has four loss. It is nil bore. Uh, so, he designed this and uh, there was also a controversy regarding the use of the Chinese, the Taoist symbol here. But still, it was his coat of arm. Very good answer by team one, two, and five. So, that's the end of the this quiz. Uh, uh, so, before we uh, move to this... Team one, how do you like the quiz? This quiz. Hello. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So uh, first of all, uh, uh, huge uh, round of applause for every. I mean the entire department of chemistry because uh, we do not usually you know encounter quizzes on I mean topical subjects like chemistry, and uh, the quiz was a great quiz and uh, we have participated in chem quizzes in our past, but you know this was one of the best chem quizzes that I have ever come across. So uh, like. Uh, it was accessible to people from uh, you know who did not have chemistry background and uh, yeah, overall great effort and uh, I hope that this continues in the future as well and I'd lo love to be a part of it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually, we tried to design the questions like this so that uh, one who is not from chemistry background could also have some idea about the answers. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And it was fun sitting in Polas Monisar's quiz after almost two years since the Bharat quiz. I really enjoyed the quiz. Thank you, Sam. Uh, are you like the questions? Yeah, yeah, sir. The questions okay. are really nice. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, yeah it was. Uh, the questions were great, a uh, great set of research, and really enjoyed a science quiz, though. Not from the science background. Sahil, you are uh, you belong to which place? Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Odisha, okay. Team three. Sir, uh, as a chemistry student, sir, I have really enjoyed this quiz and the questioner. I mean, uh, very entertaining, sir. Okay. Thank you, you for are, organizing this. You were chemistry. You are undergoing. Uh, where you were studying? Kostok. Uh, sir, uh, sir uh, I and my partner, uh, we both are studying at Tesco University, Integrated MSc, uh, third year. Okay. Best of luck to you for the future endeavors. Okay. okay. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, sorry. Hey, I have to ask because of the network issues. Okay. Uh, the quiz was really nice. And since uh, in the middle also, wherever there was a good question, sorry for interrupting and saying again and again, good question, good question. Uh, the, there were really great questions in the middle. And uh, obviously, the uh, variation on, of the questions were great. Like pop culture was done. Even Indian cities, quick city question in the uh, chemistry quiz like this. Again, uh, asking about different, uh, even the Pirana question, which was like uh, something from the biology. So, so everything was covered in this chemistry quiz. If, if this is said chemistry quiz, sorry, it's not. It's, it was a totally generalized quiz. Thank you for that. Thank you, Rajivul. Okay. Thank you, Rajivul. M6. Sir, uh, enjoyed the quiz. Uh, and uh, it was a very nice quiz. Uh, yes, and the, it felt like a general quiz at last time. So, okay. Because it covered so many things like we came across in my daily life. Like, yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Tim, uh, I think. Bonkos? Uh, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's very good. Everything is covered very well. And I, I would like to congratulate all the six teams for racing final in this competition. And best of luck to the winners also. Okay. Luck indeed a good job. Thank you. Thank you, Pankas. And, and on behalf of the uh, Department of Chemistry, I would like to thank Tequas, especially Postop and Postop Sasanko and Obizi for working day and night with us uh, on making uh, this event coming true.
and uh, though I am also a part of the tech was, and still uh, we all have to depend on them. Jai Harbo. And uh, regarding uh, the, we have prize money for this quiz, and the prize money will be debited to your account. So Sanko will tell us details about the prize money after the declaration of the result. I think, no? Yes. So, yes, Sanko, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so team six is with uh, 45 points. Team six on 45. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, team three is on 90 points. Yes. Okay, then uh, team uh, 2 is on 110. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, then uh, uh, team 4, uh, then the second runners are uh, with 145 points. Team 4. Team 4. Yeah. And, so, uh, team 4. Yeah. Congratulations to team 4. And uh, team five, uh, first runner up with 160 points. Uh, congrats to Rajivul and team. Yes, congrats, Rajivul. Uh, and, and, and the winner of the uh, alchemy quiz, the chem quiz is uh, team one with uh, 240 points. That's quite a score. It's a huge score. So, so congratulations to team one. Uh, one. Team one. Uh, uh, Sayan, your partner is from medical college? Yeah, yeah. He is from medical college, second year. Okay. So, mm -hmm. both are medical students, but still they have lots of uh, ideas on chemistry. Very good answer from them. So, congratulations once again. Thank yes. you. First up, you want to say something? No, uh, thank you for uh, participating, guys. Uh, and I ho hope to see you all uh, within a few weeks, uh, because we are coming up with a uh, few quizzes in the uh, next month i guess so thanks to all of you